You know that feeling when you have to clean a backdrop of your image and it takes you ages to do that? And then you realize that you have 80 more images that needs the same treatment? Or you just need to fix some wrinkled clothing or skin imperfections or some other stuff you don't like? Well, guess what? I have a fix for you. What if I tell you that you can fix all that and some other stuff with just a few clicks? So today I'll be sharing my thoughts on a Photoshop plugin that saves me hours. It's called Retouch for Me. So these innovative plugins use AI technology to simplify your retouching process, allowing you to clear backdrops, fix skin imperfections, wrinkled clothing, and they have some other impressive features as well. With Retouch for Me, you can enhance your photos with just a few clicks, saving you hours of editing work. So if you're looking for a powerful tool to take your photo editing to the next level, just keep watching. So I'll go through some different plugins first, which ones I use and how to use them, and also what else they have. And in the end, I'll show you how to combine these plugins so you don't have to use them one by one and also how to apply them to hundreds of images at once. So first plugin that caught my attention was Retouch for Me Heal. So that was the first plugin I bought and I used it for some time and because I loved it so much uh, I reached out to the company and ask if they can provide me with some more to do this review and they were kind enough to send me a few more and also they gave me this discount code for you guys so if you find them useful you can use this discount code for 20 percent discount so what this heal plugin does is it removes skin imperfections with just one click so if you have an image of a person or multiple people with not so perfect skin it will detect all the face skin, body skin and everything and it will remove all those imperfections. So uh, let's see how it works. So when you install these plugins you'll have them here in Photoshop in filter, retouch for me and here they are. So I have an image of a person, a model that we work with and first what I'll do I'll duplicate this layer and you'll see why in a second. Now if I go to filter, retouch for me retouch for me heal it will open another window and it will analyze the image and do its magic and here you have some options you can select if this image is a headshot or waist up shot or full length shot but i just like to leave it on auto because the software automatically detects what kind of image it is and now if we make this bigger and zoom in a little bit Oh, uh, okay, let's see what the plugin did. If we click on this original, it will show us original. So this is before and this is after. So yeah, we can see that it removed quite some things. So if we check again, so original and with this plugin. Here you have some more options and you can set the sensitivity and it will show you what things it removes. If you just want some minor things, removed you can set the sensitivity lower and it will just remove the smaller things or you can just leave it to 100 and this is all the things it removes and if you want to leave some things on his skin you can go to this eraser here and you can just erase some parts so now the plugin will only affect this areas around this or maybe if you just want the plugin to work on this area you can just switch this with this button and now it will only remove things on this area here but for now we just uh, won't use this one uh, we can erase this so that's it another option you have here is you can make a mask so if you click on this button here it will just make a mask of all these corrected things so yeah let's just leave it like this and hit apply okay so that's it and we can see we have a new layer with just these corrections so we can see that it removed a lot of stuff but it's not perfect 
for example this thing here it's still red it's not perfect but yeah it's very good if i had to remove all those imperfections by myself it would take me some time also when you have all these things on a new layer and if you don't like some things that the plugin did you can just create a mask and you can just remove some stuff so for example if you want to leave some things in you can just pan here and that's it so uh, let's check another image so uh, yeah this is the same model and now let's duplicate the layer and go to filter retouch for me heal okay again we'll just hit apply so we can see that it really did a great job so this is before and this is after okay the next plugin which will save you a lot of time especially if you're working in a studio a lot is retouch for me clean backdrop so i don't work in a studio a lot but when i do i always spend hours cleaning all that footprints and dirt from the paper background so yeah this plugin is a lifesaver so yeah let's see what it does Okay, so I have this image here. We can see that the background is not even. It has some wrinkles on this paper. Also, if we check this floor, it has a lot of dirt and these shadows and some other stuff. So yeah, let's see what this plugin does. Okay, uh, so let's duplicate this layer and go to filter, retouch for me, clean backdrop. Okay, analyzing again. Okay, so now we have some options here. Let's make this a little bit bigger. Okay. Ah. okay. Again, you can select uh, how much you can blend this in. Let's go to 100. And you have the options here to remove like bigger dirt or medium or smaller dirt let's choose this bigger dirt because of these areas in the background so again you have these same options here you can make a mask or not and let's just apply it so if we check what was before and after we can see that the difference is quite noticeable so we can see that here in the background there are no more uh, wrinkles yeah everything's even and again if we check here on the floor so we can see that all the dirt and footprints are pretty much gone we still have some stuff here also here in the shadow areas uh, it's not so good so yeah you have to clean all that by yourself but again it does a great job so all these wrinkles here here in the bottom here if we check they're gone okay that's it maybe we have to correct this area here which is not perfect but all in all i think it did a great job okay let's check another image and we'll see where this plugin has some problems okay so we have this lady sitting on a chair and if we apply this clean backdrop plugin and we'll just go with default settings and click apply if we check these areas here on the bottom it didn't clean all this stuff so yeah that's a bit of a minus but all other stuff oops i forgot to duplicate the layer but if we check all the other stuff so here uh, all these areas it's pretty good uh, so yeah you'll have to clean this by yourself but if we compare this area to all this area that it removed it's much much less time consuming so i have two more plugins that i want to show you first one is uh so how's it called uh, retouch for me fabric so let's go to this image here so this plugin actually removes wrinkles from clothing well it's not working like i thought it will uh, i thought it will remove all these small wrinkles and everything but it doesn't so let's see how it works so let's 
duplicate this layer, go to filter, retouch for me fabric. And see what it does. Let's just apply this. Okay, so we can see that uh, it didn't remove all these small wrinkles, but what it did is it actually softened the shadows. So if we check before and after, and let's zoom out a little bit. Yeah, so this is before and this is after. So these wrinkles and all the shadows that were here are pretty much gone or at least a bit softer. So we can see here in the bottom that these wrinkles are a little bit less visible after applying this plugin, so that's good. But maybe I would just create a mask and just use this plugin on this area here, for example. Maybe something like that. I don't mind all these uh, wrinkles here. If we check now, before and after, yeah. So, like I said, it's not what I thought it will be. But again, if you're doing some studio beauty shots, this plugin could be great. Okay, so there's one more plugin that I want to show you, and that is skin color. So I usually try to make the skin colors right in Lightroom, but sometimes the skin color is not even. So for example, when you're shooting outdoors in winter, maybe the nose can be a little bit more red because of the cold weather, and this plugin will even the colors through the whole face. Now, if you don't set the correct white balance and the skin doesn't look right, this plugin will not fix it, it will still look bad. But yeah, it will even the skin color through the whole face, so if the person has red nose or red cheeks, it will correct that. So let's jump into it and see how it works. We'll go with this image here and let's zoom in. So we can see that this lady here has a little bit red cheekbones. So let's just duplicate the layer and go to filter, retouch for me, skin tone. Okay. Okay, we have all these options again, but yeah, let's just hit apply. And now we can see that the color is even through the whole face. So no redness here. If we check before and after, we can clearly see that. But yeah, maybe we want that uh, cheekbones to be a little bit red, so if we want that, we can just lower the opacity here, like for 50%, and this looks pretty good. So before and after. So yeah, uh, that's pretty much it for this plugin. Now let me show you how you can combine these uh, plugins so you don't have to run them one by one. Actually, on their webpage, they have this uh, Retouch For Me Photoshop panel. It's free, you just have to go there, download it and install it. And when you have it, you have it here under Plugins, Retouch For Me and that's it. So if you click on it, you'll get this panel and you can select what you want to do with your image. Of course, it will only work with those plugins that you purchased. So uh, let's go with heal and skin tone here. And when I click run, it will apply these two plugins to this image and it will put them on separate layers, which is very good. So we can see that we have this heal thing here and skin tone. Let's zoom in here and if we just turn on this layer, it will show us what it corrected. So if we check what heal plugin did, uh, so let's see, before and after. So it removed all these things here and also here on her hand and skin tone did yeah, what we saw earlier. Again, if this is too much, we can just lower the opacity and that's it. And as you can see here, they have a lot of other plugins as well. So if you're doing a lot of beauty portrait work, this can help you a lot. For stock photography, I don't need them, but they can be very helpful. So if you're doing a lot of portraits or something similar, just go to their webpage and check them out. Okay, there's one more thing that I want to show you, and that is how you can apply one or more of these plugins to 
hundreds of images at once. So first we create a Photoshop action and then we'll apply this action to the whole folder of images. And let's say we want to add skin color to this image and we have some similar images and we'll apply that to all of those images. So we'll create a new action. We'll click this button here and we'll call it skin color and we'll just click record. So Photoshop will now record everything we'll do. We'll go to filter, retouch for me, skin tone. Okay, we'll turn this off and we'll click apply. Okay, now we have to save the image. Okay, and close it. And let's go to actions and now we'll stop the action. So now we can apply this action to a whole folder of images. And if we go to file, automate batch, we can select to which folder we want to do that. So here this skin color action is already selected and we just have to choose on which folder we want to perform this action. Let's go here. Uh, go to this folder and that's it and now when you have everything ready you can just click ok and now you can just wait so like you saw that didn't work so <laughs> I was researching two hours now why it didn't work and I actually had to install the previous version of the Photoshop so Photoshop 24.2 and now it's working so I hope by the time you're watching this they already fixed that or something uh, so yeah if we check again if we go to file automate batch and Again, I have all the info here already and you click OK. It will process the whole folder of images and that's pretty much it. Uh, but yeah, if you have a lot of images, there will be a lot of waiting so you can do something else in the meantime and that's pretty much it. So yeah, that's it. I hope you enjoyed. Maybe you found a plugin that will save you a lot of time like it does for me. Uh, like, subscribe, blah 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 and stay awesome and I'll see you in my next video.